there, I'm Jill Newman, and this is our introductory video for all of my uh, online felting classes and needle felting camps. Um, I just want to do a little brief introduction to needle felting for those who haven't done it at all before. And if and if you have, maybe you'll learn something new. I don't know. We'll we'll give it a try. Anyway, I love 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 needle felting, and I'm happy to share it with you. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So these are just a few introductory. Uh, really great first time needle felter projects. They're also fun, you know, if you even with experience, these are these are fun little projects. So I have a little lamb that has actual, these are actual little curls from a real lamb um, that they that we use for that. And a little a little hedgehog has some, whoops, we're using uh, some wool for the spikes. And this is a little baby chick particularly little, we can make a little bigger one. And I dropped a bunny. Bunny, there's a lot of different ways to make um, these cute bunnies. This is just one sample bunny. So um, for the camps this summer, for these, these are each the first thing we'd make for each of the four different needle felting camps. So, um, and the other projects will be fun too. So I just want to say a little bit, people always ask who don't know what this is, like you, you stuffed this with something, you did some sewing. No, this is solid wool, um, no sewing whatsoever. It's all done with a felting needle. I'm gonna talk in the next video more about, specifically about what kinds of needles and how they work, but there's barbs on these needles and somehow I, the, the wool, this is a felted egg you'll receive, a felted egg unless you order a kit that doesn't come with it. Um, but this is all solid wool. It starts out with this core wool. It's just this fluff. And by holding it tight and poking it repeatedly with these barbs, you it, it all starts to hold together and gets really firm. And unfortunately, the one thing with the virtual classes is you, you can't feel the samples of the completed projects, but um, I usually felt these pretty firm. I like things to be really sturdy. There's some needle felting out there that's a little loosey goosey, and I like things to really hold together. Um, if my cat gets a hold of this, she can rip it to shreds. But most, as a person, you probably like you couldn't really. You, you should be able to pull on stuff and not rip it. Um, but you don't have to make it. Some of my sculptures are really, really solid and I keep felting till they're hard as rocks. You may want to have some people, some of my students prefer to have a little squish still. So that's gonna be up to your egg that you got is gonna have some squish. Um, it's gonna be, should be pretty solid in the center. And I'm gonna teach you how to make these solid in the center because you don't wanna make something and then have it wind up being feeling hollow and then really squishy. But um, you want some squish so that you can do the shaping and sculpting um, with the needle, which I'll, we'll, we'll do another, another video. But I just want to show you that this really is all, all of this is solid wool. The centers are this core wool. And then I use different colors of wool batting and sometimes wool roving. Um, and I have many, many colors and you'll, you received whatever colors you're going to need uh, to make your project. But these, you can really make anything. This is just the beginning. You can make anything you imagine. And that's the beauty of this. Um, it's a really, really fun, versatile craft. So uh, let's get started and I hope you enjoy it.